Welcome to this video. This is Mark Scythian. The date today is April 25th, 2017. I'm going to demonstrate the flight control and aerodynamics functions of a tilt rotor. Uh, right now we're in the rotary wing tandem mode. Uh, we have a nacelle tilt mechanism. We do not want to exceed more than 50% on the ground to prevent a prop strike. But when these are in the vertical mode, uh, they operate just like a tandem counter-rotating helicopter, uh, much like the CH-47, except uh, these are starboard and port instead of the counter-rotating fore and aft on the C-47 Chinook. But it's the, same, it's the same concept, so of course you got the gyroscopic precession and the torque canceled out, and then the in the real world, the blade pitch differential would actually allow this to have a cyclic tilt right left forward backwards and at the same time they would be linked with the fixed wing flight control so it's, as you can see the elevator and forward and backward rotor tilt cyclic are linked together and then aileron get up to your closer they got a flap around assisted aileron here so they're going to be in series together, both fixed wing and rotary wing. Of course, with helicopters, you know that usually they're constant RPM, and then you just change the uh, pitch either differentially or equally, cyclic or collective, right? So uh, we're going to just represent engine power as a collective here because it's like a fixed pitch type of a deal here. But anyway, in the real world, you'd set your RPM, and then there's th uh, throttle trimming, just like with helicopters, but it's the... Uh, differential pitch and equalized pitch on the blades. And since they're counter-rotating, then uh, the gyroscopic precession and torque are canceled out. So likewise, if we're going to uh, input a yaw function, we're going to have to have some differential torque. And that, of course, is a limited slip uh, transmission function, just like with the CH-47. Uh, <coughs> the... Uh, the pitch would be actually increased on one rotor and then you would have a uh, decrease of the RPM and then you wouldn't lose any lift, but the result would be a, an input of differential torque for yaw. So here, if we look back, uh, we have a rudder here. So if we're not, in, if we do not tilt the rotor and we put uh, input in, it would actually be from the uh, differential torque on the main rotors changing the uh, torque differential. And that's also linked to the nose wheel. So nose wheel, rudder, and differential, main rudder torque differentials are all linked together. So as we start getting more airflow over the fixed wing part portion of it, and we change our uh, nacelle tilt, it starts to transition more into the uh, fixed pitch mode. But remember, you don't want all these helicopter differentials going on more than 45 degrees. So that is when there's like a cutoff system to where it's going to start flying like an airplane and you better have enough airflow. So we're going to set about 130 knots before we transi transition uh, into airplane. And so we can't look at this as vertical takeoff and landing as we must look at it like helicopter or airplane plus helicopter, airplane, and then transition between the two. So it's either helicopter, transition, or airplane. It's going to be in one of those uh, functions. So intuitively, like now the flight controls and aerodynamics are interested. So we'll just take off normally in the helicopter mode, and then uh, we'll land in the helicopter mode, and then we'll take off in a partial tilt for a short takeoff and short landing uh, functions. We don't want to go more than 50% here because we're going to strike your props. And there's a lockout on this one. You will destroy your rotors if you keep going. So, uh, all right, we're ready. So, take a break off. Give a little bit of power. And then we can use the differential torque on the main rotor to turn it. Okay, break on, power down. I'm going to turn up the volume now and uh, just proceed on with the simulation.